Ngayon naman, ang pag-uusapan natin ay uh, multiplication of fractions. Okay? 5 over 8 times 6 over 10. Okay? Multiply both numerators and then multiply both denominators. Okay? Yung masa makukuha mong sagot. Halimbawa ito, 5 times 6 is 30 over 8 times 10 is 80. Okay? So, 30 over 80 at ang gagawin mo lang ay reduce to lowest term. So, ang lowest term nito ay kailangan lang i-divide mo ng uh, number na both uh, can divide the numerator at saka denominator. So, in cases na ganito, okay, pag 0 ang ending, ibig sabihin, the number can be divided by 10. So, 30 divided by 10, that gives you 3. And 80 divided by 10, that gives you 8. 3, 8. So, this is now your answer. Okay? So, multiplying fractions, remember... Just multiply numerator, multiply denominator, and then reduce to lowest term. Alright, so that's how we multiply fractions. Okay? So, halimbawa naman ay mag-multiply tayo ng fraction at whole number. Okay, sabihin natin 6 over 10. Okay? Multiply natin ito ng whole number multiplied by uh, sabi natin 6 okay equals paano ba ang magmultiply ng fraction at whole number ang technique ay katulad din po ng uh, pagmultiply ng fraction okay ang isipin niyo lang ang ang whole number all whole numbers has a denominator of Ang denominator po ng whole number, always 1. Bakit? Kasi, 6 divided by 1 is equal to the number, which is 6. So, same uh, rule applies. Multiply both numerators and multiply both denominators. So, 6 times 6 uh, becomes now your numerator. Okay? And then, 1 is always your denominator. So, 6 times 6 gives you 36 over... 10 times 1 is 10. Now, the fraction is already improper fraction. So, a fraction, an operation involved in a fraction is always division. So, 36 divided by 10, that gives you 3. There are 3 tens in 36. And you have a remainder of 6. Okay? Ang remainder, lalagay sa taas as the numerator. And then, kukunin mo lang yung denominator, which is 10. Okay, now... So, our answer uh, is a mixed number, okay? Remember, always change the fraction part to the lowest term. So, we have 3 and 6, 10. Kunin lang natin yung 3, right? At divide 6 by 2, which gives you 3. And divide 10 by 2, which gives you 5. So, our answer is 3 and three-fifths.